welcome to another vlog in the simple joys in the countryside series yes i hope you've been enjoying this series so far i've been having a good time reliving my childhood memories here in the countryside some of you call it the village whichever word you want to use is still okay with me so today is on a monday it's around uh, midday sasita yes and i'm heading to the local shopping center to purchase some detergent that is omo huku kenya tunaitanga omo yes nenda kuchukua omo nenda kuchukua some veggies so i'm going to get uh some detergent and some veggies and i'm planning to take you people with me so stay tuned if you haven't joined us yet please consider joining us this is a feel good space where we inspire each other we motivate each other we explore together so welcome to the family make sure that you subscribe click on the button red button on the extreme right side of the screen it's somewhere here yes subscribe and remember to put the notification bell on so that you can always get notified whenever i post new content ah for those of you who have been here since the time we started this channel ah makofi cheni ni wapigia makofi so as usual i'm using a tree as my tripod yes that's how we are rolling back here in the countryside and so far so good they have come in handy so it's good to have some trees around your compound back in your countryside you never know when you might need to use it as a tripod beside it acting as a windbreaker providing shade providing you with firewood there are so many many uses of trees when you have them around your compound so i'm taking you people with me let's go to the local shopping center and explore let's just go and see what's up okay i've been walking for the last five minutes and i've not only met with one person like this place is not densely populated the expansive pieces of land like you can spot one two three homesteads from a distance <sighs> life here in the countryside is just therapeutic a walk down this path is just what i needed today this is what i'm talking about look at all this land guys like you can spot homesteads from a distance over there then this other side over here <sighs> life in the countryside too much fun still walking keep walking keep walking I decided to put socks on don't mind my rubber shoes they are not in their best state but since I'm just walking here in the countryside no problem no wahala nobody really cares about what you're wearing so let's continue with the journey major means of transport here is the uh, motorbikes like the one you can spot from a distance over there so this place is close to the main road it will take you like a 10 to 20 minutes on a motorbike to access the main road so it's not that uh, underdeveloped actually it's developing very fast i actually thought i wouldn't make it to the shopping center guys i haven't been walking for long distances so this one is considered a healthy walk and also an exploration walk to the local shopping center so come with me at least now i can spot like one two shops from a distance it will take me like two three minutes then uh, we get to the market so this is the shopping center guys where i was coming to i'm not so certain whether i'm going to vlog for you guys because this is a rural setup and i know people around here i'm not you are not used to this vlogging thing so i can't risk my life since i'm alone so what i trended to the food omo and some pages
Pasu tuende. Dia anggal apa ini? I'm slowly walking back home as you can see I have done my shopping my bag is full Mke Nyumbali vibes yes and I've noticed that uh, electricity supply in this area is actually very good the road network is not that bad it's not extremely bad because at least most of the areas are accessible we have access roads, I've noticed some schools, primary schools, secondary schools. So the area is actually not bad. It's developing actually very fast. So it's not a bad area to settle in after all. This is what I'm talking about guys. Electricity supply has been done. At least the people around here have tried. And uh, over there, you can notice that there are some decent houses which have been constructed. So this area is not like really densely populated. And uh, it's actually developing because from here I can notice, I can notice, oh my god, English. I I can notice several quite decent houses around here which means that people are slowly settling in this place so it's not actually a bad place to stay settle in so yeah I love my neighborhood I actually underestimated that shopping center because I've, uh, I've seen a grovets I've seen a medical center some boutique shops, butcheries, potion mills, like it's a complete shopping center even with uh, some accommodation facilities where you can get some place to sleep if it gets late and you cannot get home in good time. So actually I did not even manage to go around the old market but from what I have sampled it is a shopping center which has good potential. It has the basic amenities. Actually, even a chemist, a medical center. I've noticed several schools, primary schools, secondary schools. <sighs> so, it's a complete shopping center, by the way. I can't complain finally home champions thank you so much for sticking by if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure that you subscribe and support like this video share this video let's catch up in the next vlog in the simple joys in the countryside series peace out